I'm kind of like at that awkward stage though where it's like, is she pregnant or does she have a belly? Where you Aloha friends! Today I'm going to bring you all a six teen, <laughs> a six teen week pregnancy update. So if you guys want to see oh, where I'm at in my pregnancy, how's it going, complications, then continue watching. If you guys are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I post daily vlogs pregnancy updates and fun videos with my sister and if you guys like this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias all the links are in the description box below let's get started today is week 16 oh my goodness this week my baby is the size of an avocado it's so crazy to me on how fast they really do grow. It was just like a little gummy bear and now it's like an avocado, so crazy. So we still do not know the sex of the baby and we are not gonna know it is going to be a surprise. For those of you who don't understand why not, I'm sorry. It's just the way it's gonna have to be. <laughs> I want to find out the sex of my baby when it's in my arms. So let's see, what is going on in my pregnancy? Since last week, I talked about I had really bad headaches. I have been staying crazy on top of water and I haven't had any headaches. Seriously, like I haven't had a headache since last week. I'm so happy about that because that is not fun to have a headache and a screaming toddler. My headaches have said goodbye, but knock on wood because I don't want them to come back. I don't want to jinx it. I've been super, super hungry, but I mean, that's normal. I'm always hungry and my toddler is always hungry. So every time she signs to eat and she wants to eat, I eat with her. So we're constantly eating all day. I've been super sensitive to smell. So lately, I can smell things so amazing. Like I can smell things so good. And that could be a good thing or that could be a bad thing. Like it could be a good thing because my sister, today we went and got lunch and she had the most amazing smelling food. We were standing in line and it was just so strong. I had no idea what she had even bought. She had went to another restaurant, ordered takeout, and then met me. And so I had no idea even what she got yet. And I was like, you got something with ranch, didn't you? It smells so amazing. She's like, yeah, how'd you know? And I'm like, I can just smell it. It just smells like ranch and warm and goodness. So it's good in that instance, but it's bad in other instance like my neighbor's house reeks and I'm not kidding when I say this it smells so bad so when I walk by I'm literally covering my nose because I cannot breathe it smells so bad and my boyfriend's like it doesn't even smell that bad but to me it's like the smell is turned up times 10 I can smell it so strong so my smell has been off the chart my taste is completely different like things that I remember tasting a certain way, they just don't taste that way anymore. Things that I know that tasted a certain way are things that I love. Now when I eat, I don't really like it and I can tell that it just tastes different. So my taste and my smell have been completely off, which is completely normal. That happened with me, with my daughter. I had this strong, strong dislike for avocados. Like if I've seen an avocado, I would throw up and I, I just couldn't do it, which was so weird because I love avocados. I loved it before I was pregnant with my daughter. I love avocados now. I just, when I was pregnant with her, I couldn't do it. But I have that problem with artichoke, like spinach and artichoke dip, loved, cannot do it. Artichoke pizza, can't do it. When I first found out I was pregnant with Ayla, I ate a whole thing of avocados. I love them so much and I had cut up two whole avocados and I brought it as a snack and I remember I was eating it and after I was upset stomach and then later on I found out I was pregnant 
and then I just didn't like it and now before I found out I was pregnant I had these things from Costco with like artichoke cards in them and I was eating them as a snack and now I realize when I have artichokes in something I can't do it like I we're think I can't even I have to stop talking about it. It really grosses me out that much So I find it super strange and super weird, but Thankfully, it's not avocados because I love avocados and I can do without the artichokes I haven't had any pregnancy cravings like things that I want which is so weird I have like my things that I don't like that I like stay away from but Things that I like, I just, I like anything sweet or salty or anything. I just love, love, love to eat food. So I haven't really had something where I've just been craving it. But I have had types of food dinners that I want that I'm like in my mind, I want Thai tonight or I want pizza tonight. So I have had things like that, but nothing in particular like a pickle. So I just kind of like to eat all foods. I have felt the baby Flutter, fluster, flicker. I felt the baby. So I actually felt it last week and I just totally forgot to mention it. A couple weeks before that, I thought that I had felt it and then shortly after that, I had gas, TMI. But, <laughs> but I had realized that it was probably just bubbles moving through my tummy and it wasn't it. This time, I know what it is like I knew that it was it and I felt it now three times I'm like counting like each time I feel it I love it so much I'm so excited for when the day I can like see their whole foot just rub against my belly Ayla was such an active baby in my stomach if I just felt my tummy towards the end I could feel her and sometimes it was uncomfortable she would like kick my ribs and stuff so I felt so amazing to finally feel the first fluster. So I've now felt it three times and it's just overwhelms my heart with so much joy. I'm so excited. I love being pregnant with my daughter. I loved being pregnant, but I did have complications. But with this pregnancy, I feel so excited because I feel like I'm doing precautions to not have those same complications. I feel like I'm a pro already and I like know how to handle pregnancy. No, I'm just kidding, who am I? But really, I love being pregnant. I am still putting coconut oil on my belly every night and lotion on my feet. I don't want my skin to be dried out. I know that the next months to come, they're gonna be stretching. Everything is going to stretch, so I do not want stretch marks, so I am constantly hydrating my skin in lotion and coconut oil. And I did have hives with Ayla and I do not want those again. It's so cute. My daughter is totally obsessed with baby right now. Sometimes I just let my tummy hang out. Like if I have like a sports bra on or something. And when she sees my bare tummy, she is pointing at it, kissing it, saying baby, baby. She's always saying baby. If someone says baby, she'll run to me and point to my tummy. I'm so excited to meet the baby and see the baby with Ayla. I just am dying to see what her reaction is going to be. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think she's going to be very loving and so excited to meet the baby. I have a doctor's appointment coming up soon, so I'm super excited about that. I don't feel that nauseous at night except I do feel nauseous when I don't eat so if I'm hungry and I'm nauseous then I know that it's a easy solve with eating which is a good thing because nobody wants to feel nauseous but other than that pregnancy is going very well I'm so happy with it and I'm happy to share my journey with all of you guys I am going to start posting weekly pregnancy updates. I did an update last week, so I'm gonna do an update once a week, so look out for that. If you guys have any questions for me, I will for sure get back to you and answer them the best that I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this pregnancy update. And if you guys want to know about something next week, then let me know in the comments down below. My belly shot, okay. This is my friend's belly. And this is my bump from the side. Well, my little avocado is inside of there. I'm kind of like at that awkward stage though where it's like, is she pregnant or does she have a belly? 
thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!